The Future of Bitcoin. But I'll let you explain why you think Bitcoin peaked at only $69,000 before a big retrace, before finally falling another 70% this year. Um, first of all, I'm always a long-term believer in Bitcoin that has never changed and it's not going to change with yes. uh, capital market changes uh, because I think the fundamental value proposition of Bitcoin has never changed. It is a the, the only format of decentralized money that is not being controlled by anyone, any government, any entity, and it's open. It's open source. It's transparent. It's uh, it resilient. It has lived um, for more than uh, uh, almost 10 years now, right? So uh, actually more than 10 years now. So uh, that has never changed and it's not going to change uh, uh, with the current uh, situation in the industry to actually dis um, emphasize the value of Bitcoin. Uh, as a decentralized network, um, because the failure of FTX is not the failure of crypto, not the failure of a decentralized network. It's a failure of centralization. Um, so I think actually uh, uh, stress the uh, the value and the uniqueness of it. So so I think there are always uh, obviously various reasons that contributed to the price volatility of it, and you know there are different theories. But what I believe uh, are contributing to it are absolutely number one. There is macro. Uh, economy uh, um, and and uh, mar capital market movement that uh, that drives some of the money in and out, and more importantly, because in crypto, uh, because of the uh, the flow inflow of a uh, big institutional money um, uh, between 2020 2021, and there's a lot of leverage actually in the system that is not really transparent uh, to uh, to any single participant when uh, when there's a lot of large washout um, of of that leverage in the system, you end up having a lot of forced uh, uh, sale of Bitcoin, um, mm -hmm. which I think drive down um, the price, which was basically. Uh, uh, driving, uh, driven up uh, by 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 leverage ahead of the uh, natural uh, curve of, of demand, uh, but I do think that the uh, the authentic need for Bitcoin as the uh, the solid and sound and honest money is still there, and it's uh, actually on it, um, you know, quietly developing, and it will continue to develop. The uh, loss of trust in centralized exchanges for. <laughs> obvious reasons. Now, you being the leader of a centralized exchange, maybe you can address this directly. What would you say to somebody who says to you, Hong, I don't know if I should use a centralized exchange anymore simply because of what's happened this year. So many people have lost money with not just FTX, but also Celsius and other firms as well, Voyager, BlockFi, uh, even some funds, Three Arrows Capital have, have gone down for uh, for not just market related reasons. There just seems to be a lack of trust in, in not just the transparency segment, uh, aspect that we talked about, but what the exchange is doing that the users do not have control over. How would you address this? I would always say do not trust. You always want to verify. First of all, as anyone who are interested in crypto. I think the saying the is whole... trust, but also verify. <laughs> do not trust. Always okay. verify. <laughs> all right. Uh, as someone uh, uh, in crypto, you always start with a level of mistrust because we mistrust the intermediary. That's why the whole crypto thing was started. Uh, um, and and uh, if you are interested in crypto, it's always encouraged that you actually learn how to self custody. I think that's the first thing. Even if you're using a uh, central exchange for whatever reason, reason for on ramp, off ramp, buy, sell, or trading, or whatever the, whatever other reason it is, always make sure that you actually uh, also take some of the assets off and self custody. I think again, long term, I am very bullish on uh, Bitcoin. I am also bullish on the larger crypto industry. I think um, the builders and innovators will continue to build and the bear market and the volatilities and noises like this is just number one, sort of as a good reminder of what not to do and what not to, to uh, trust. And number mm -hmm. two, also wash out the bad, um, bad ones um, and uh, yeah. you know, the good ones will stay and be stronger. Uh, I think from a macro uh, perspective, uh, we continue to see challenges out there. Uh, developing countries uh, have pretty strong uh, pressure uh, from a uh, debt perspective. I think uh, World Bank actually recently came out saying that uh, uh, a dozen of countries may default in, in their own uh, country debt next year. Um, and which is the failure of a centralized monetary system. Uh, so I would suspect that 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 the fundamental need for a more sound money 
will continue to build. That case will continue to build in the background, uh, something like El Salvador, but maybe of a larger size. Uh, obviously, Bitcoin has its own mining cycle. I think, uh, I don't know whether it's coincidental that the past uh, crypto cycles has kind of somewhat somewhat coincided with the uh, Bitcoin uh, 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 cycle. Uh, but uh, but that may also be another catalyst. Um, uh, sorry, not mining cycle, uh, halving mm -hmm. cycle. Do you see another coin challenging Bitcoin as the dominant, uh, most uh, the largest market cap coin in the world, perhaps due to higher investment demand or perhaps due to a uh, number of use cases that uh, are more prominent? No, I I am always the big proponent of Bitcoin, so okay. I, I haven't seen any uh, assets that can challenge Bitcoin's uh, position as the king of crypto. Not yet. Okay. Not yet. Uh, At not some yet. Point. Uh, what, what what about the notion of using cryptocurrencies as a medium of exchange, universal medium of exchange? Um, you know, uh, right now we're seeing that uh, not really highly adopted yet, cryptocurrencies in any form. Uh, universally, of course, uh, there, there are many stores you can use uh, Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies to purchase things with. But for the average person, it's still not highly adopted. When can we see that change? I think that case will have to build up very gradually uh, uh, as, you know, for example, the second layer lightning now will continue to scale. There are a lot of startup uh, 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 opportunities and actually uh, good uh, lightning apps that are out there that builds on that uh, use case. Uh, I think in the interim, uh, stablecoin can potentially also function uh, uh, as, as that, but I haven't seen any uh, uh, good, uh, you know, mobile app, uh, for example, that, that, uh, serve the retail market for that purpose. Um, but you know, it can also be a, 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 a potential uh, uh, median of payment, uh, uh, which is you know, stable coin. Mm, mm. Final topic then. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen first in US. It's, uh, if, if it happens, it will happen outside US um, in, uh, you know, in Africa, in Latin America, et cetera. Um, but, but I think longer term Bitcoin and, and, and a Lightning Network, I, I my view is that that has a lot more uh, potential, but it takes time. You know, I, in that regard, some people view CBDC, central bank digital currencies, as a direct competitor to Bitcoin or any cryptocurrency that could be used as a medium of exchange. All around the world, China is working on it as well. You know, if we have a digital currency issued by the government, is there a need to use another digital currency such as Bitcoin to facilitate transactions? Absolutely, because what we don't want is a uh, is a currency that is uh, totally controlled by a government. That's what we are trying to get away from. Uh, CBDC not only uh, is, is still kind of that being controlled by the government uh, uh, in terms of issuance, but also in terms of uh, losing more uh, privacy. Uh, you know, it's basically the worst of two wor worlds. Mm -hmm. Uh, but on, I'm never a fan of CBDC. Uh, it may actually serve as a good uh, incentive for for uh, citizen of that country to try uh, Bitcoin instead because it provides a so much uh, stronger alternative. And also it may prepare uh, that, uh, the citizen of that country infrastructure wise to uh, take on Bitcoin. Um, so, so, you know, we'll see. Um, I, 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 Hopefully, we don't end up in the world with uh, CBDC uh, ruling the world. That would be a disaster. Okay. We have to uh, challenge you and provide you with an alternative viewpoint. What would be, actually, I'll let you answer this. What would be, in your mind, a scenario in which Bitcoin goes to much, much lower prices, perhaps touching its previous low in the previous crypto winter of three to $4,000? Is such a scenario possible? It is possible. Uh, when I say I'm long-term bullish, I was not actually commenting on the mm -hmm. market price. Okay. It can definitely go down. Uh, what I'm uh, bullish on is the it's the long-term future. Uh, it's where it will end up uh, instead of the short-term volatility. And as a matter of fact, uh, you know, I'm always uh, a big proponent of uh, uh, buying dip, <laughs> okay. uh, assuming that you actually understand uh, what it is and actually believe in it and accept it. Um, but uh, yeah, I, there, if, if that opportunity occurs, I'll be the first to uh, jump on and buy, buy some. Uh, 